Hi folks, thanks for checking out my code.google.com open source project iPhone-GCAL. Uh, I thought that rather than reading a um, wiki page explaining how to configure the Xcode project for your environment, I just videotape myself doing so. So first of all just download the source files and I'm just going to expand it and delete the zip and you'll notice that in the download there's a Google Calendar .xcode proj file. Launch that into your Xcode IDE and I wanted to point out a couple of things. Uh, under the other sources here the Google Data API is missing because I've added them to my project by reference to my development environment which almost certainly will not match your development environment. So all of these files will actually be broken links and so you won't be able to compile. It'll fail miserably with hundreds of errors. So to fix that um, you will need to first go to the Google Data API website and download their Objective-C client library. I have a, a link to it in my uh, code.google.com project here. going to expand that right next to my downloaded Xcode project. So under their source folder they have a clients subfolder that contains exactly what you need. However the easiest way I found to copy those links into your project is to use their gdata.xcode proj project. If you open that up you'll see that their project has a gdata sources folder here containing all the files you need and just drag and drop that into your other sources folder into your project. Don't copy the actual content, just use a reference, so leave this checkbox cleared. And I'm just going to go and delete the broken one. You don't have to name it the same, it doesn't really matter. Uh, however, it does contain all of the client libraries, so you'll want to, probably you'll want to delete all the ones you aren't using. The only ones that my uh, Xcode project are using are the calendar and common uh, libraries. So you can go ahead and delete everything else. And again, don't delete the actual sources just by reference. You don't want to destroy your Google Data download. So I should now be able to compile. Let me just switch to the simulation, the simulator, and go ahead and build. So now it succeeds, no problem. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention is when you launch it in your simulation for the first time, it's going to fail authenticating, of course, because you didn't give it a username and password yet. To do that, you have to go to the, the iPhone's settings application and there'll be a widget there called GTUG Demo. This is where you're going to put, <clears throat> this is where you're going to enter your Google accounts username and password. And I'm going to avert your eyes. I'm just going to pause the recording while I type in my password. I'm not sure how to do that. Ah, oh, there we go. Pause and resume. So through the matching of editing, it's now in there. And so now when you launch the application, it will actually connect to your Google Calendar, sorry, your Google account and fetch all of your calendars and show you the contents. So that should be enough to get you at least running with the Xcode project with your simulation. Um, to run it on your actual iPhone, you'll also need to change your uh, if oh, where did I put that under resources, there's an info.plist file. You'll need to change the bundle identifier's domain from com.danberg. to whatever your iPhone developer license uh, contains. So it might be an actual product name, or just could be the domain. And that should be it. Then you should be able to compile and uh, deploy to your own iPhone. All right. I hope you enjoy. Cheers.